Today we're going to make a butterfly puddling station. This is a place where butterflies, the local butterflies, and we've got 55 species in Makarat Reserve. This is where butterflies can come and pick up some water, but importantly they also pick up the minerals they need for successful breeding. The male butterflies are particularly keen on this because it helps them attract the girls. So, to make a butterfly puddling station, it's fairly simple. A few basic things like a couple of uh, old soft drink bottles. We need some sort of shallow bowl like a plant saucer. I've got a fancy one and a cheap plastic one. Doesn't matter which she is, depending on what result you want. Ingredients we need. So, we'll start off with the sand that goes in the saucers to create the the surface that the butterflies, and for that matter, native bees, uh, that creates a surface they can land on and suck up the water with their proboscis. The, um, so I've just got some ordinary wash sand from the local hardware store. Then the fertiliser. I'm going to try out two different types. Uh, dynamic lifter, just your ordinary basic dynamic lifter, organic fertiliser and sea salt, a liquid fertiliser that we use in our bush care work. I'm also going to try something completely different, beer and banana. I'm, I, I am told that the local evening brown butterflies and tailed emperor butterflies love some beer and banana. So we'll try that in a small saucer and see what happens with that. Okay, the, um, we've got the food for the supply, we've got the things to bring the butterflies in, now we need some water. Simple thing, I've made up a, I've cut the bottom off one of our plastic bottles mm -hmm. and that'll provide a cup into which our bottle of water can tip and that'll just keep that sand damp over a few days and you can just refill the water where it's required. The, uh, here's one I've made up before, so I'll use that one. We'll now get the sand. Okay. So we put the sand in, to smooth it out. We nestle our, our full bottle of water. Up and in there, and it automatically keeps the water level at the right level for the bowl, and it'll keep all the sand there. And you can see the bubbles as it gradually seeps in and fills up all. Okay, we've got our first uh, puddling station made with sea salt. We'll make the next one with dynamic lifter. One thing I need to mention is that we just need a little hole in the bottom of the of the water cup and that allows the water to come out at the right level to fill the bowl. So I've made a hole there. I'll fill this one with sand. Nestle in our water cup. Now that has a hole just at the right level to keep the sand damp without it overflowing. Okay, so that will gradually seek through. Now, a bit of dynamic lifter. I'm just going to crush this up a bit. We'll sprinkle that across the top. And we've got two different butterfly puddling stations. So we we'll just need about or oh, half an inch of water in the bottom just to keep the scene damp without being wet. Okay, so the last one, let's do the fun one. Let's do some beer and banana.
So just you can be more sophisticated if you like, crushed up with a fork or something, but I'm just squeezing it with my hands. Got nice rubber gloves on to protect them. And we'll get our beer. That's all you need to do. So, hmm, that smells pretty good. That should attract the butterflies. So we'll see what, how that one works. So we've now got three different types of butterfly puddling stations. You can make them at home, very easy. Recycle small soft drink bottles, a bit of sand out of your, um, from the beach if you like, or a bit of sand from local hardware. A bit of whatever organic fertiliser you're using on the garden. Or if you want to be fancy and do a beer and banana. Successful was and whether you attracted butterflies to your garden.